This is an emergency eye removal session. Your eye has doubled in size, so we're just gonna get this taken care of, okay? So I'm gonna clamp your eye open. And this is gonna be, I'm trying to work quickly here because I don't wanna hurt you in any way, okay? So I'm just gonna clamp your eye open here. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna try to loosen it up a bit because we are going to replace it. So let me know. Um, this is not good, and I think that there's just, it's kind of past the point of no return. There's nothing, there's nothing really more I can do to save the eye, so... Loosening here around the edges, the corners of the eyes. Don't worry, you won't you won't get any dog hair in your socket. Yeah, Opal, brother's dog, he, she wanted to watch, but... Uh, she was supposed to be my assistant, but she kind of got distracted by other matters, so... Just turn off the edges here. Just the corners, just the corners. This hurt at all. Okay. I'm trying to not cause any pain, but I am trying to do this quickly so as not to hurt you or cause pain for any longer than. The wind's a-blowing. Don't want any uh, wind dress exposed to the neighbors, do we? That would be very unfortunate. I do. Seems like I've got a pretty loose amount here along the perimeter, the circumference of the eye. Just 
Okay, so now we're just going to adjust the eye. So I'm going to try to loosen it. it completely fell. Um, how's this? Okay, I'm gonna try. So this is the clamp part. I'm trying to pull your eye out with it. today. I know you probably don't care to hear the story because I know this whole situation with your eye, but I was at the park earlier today and I heard this kid yell at this other kid, I paid ten dollars for that. I paid ten dollars for that. And the little boy was like, whoa, he paid ten dollars. get his ten dollars worth back when you're a kid ten dollars is out okay I think I got the eye I'm just going to set it here to the side eyeball has been extracted now I'm just going to put the clamp back on to keep the socket open.
this perfectly. Now, this is the fun part. Get ready for this. We have here a slinky, okay? We're going to adjust this exactly how you want. So we don't want to go too far out. We want it to be about the length of your socket, or I guess I should, 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 should say width. So like from in here to outwards. around with it and see it's going to spring out of the socket we don't want that we want it to work So what do you think? How can you fill it? So if we have it about here, do you feel like that's too long? Just 
Okay, we got the best course of action here. I want it to look as natural as possible. Really see what the best fit is, what you think, and how you feel about it. Okay. Let's just a little crooked. It's kind of leaning, tilting this way. I want it to look a little more even. Yeah. So your socket looks pretty good. It's just that it kind of, yeah, what's the word? It's gaping. It's gaping. And we don't really want it gaping. I want the slinky to kind of, like I said, kind of act as a safeguard to protect the socket while I'm looking for a better eye replacement. I know it may sound crazy, but this, this is ahead of its time kind of science. You know, it's, um, this could really work. This could really work. I keep almost drooling on you. So how does it feel? No pain? Alright. 
Alright, well let's head inside. You can take a nice rest and we will figure out your eyeball, alright? Alright.